Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Coding Lifestyle for You. In this video, I am going to tell you how you can download and install PyCharm IDE on your systems. What you guys need to do, just double click on any of your browser. On the search bar, just type PyCharm download. Okay, you need to click on this first link. The website name is www.jetbrains.com okay so once you click this website you can see here there are two download buttons okay one is for professional version of pycharm and another one is for community version so this professional version uh, is a paid one okay you will get a free trial and after that you will have to pay uh, some amount to use this professional version this community version is for pure python development okay and this is a free and open source version so we will be downloading this one only so just click on this black download button once you click this your downloading will start okay and you can see here it is getting downloaded so it will take time the size of this pycharm community version is 349 mb okay so it is getting downloaded so here if you want to subscribe you can subscribe for getting emails from JetBrains this JetBrains is a, a company which uh, generally creates IDEs okay so PyCharm uh, is downloaded now you just have to click on this setup file okay once you click the setup file you will see a GUI window okay a window like this so you just have to uh, do the installation in this uh, regular way uh, just click on this next button then here you can uh, it is asking for destination folder you can go with the default location or you can click on this browse button to give some other location if you want okay i will go with the default location only just click on this next here if you want to create a desktop shortcut just select the 64-bit launcher for desktop shortcut okay and if you want to add this launcher to the path okay for the terminal you just have to take this also and also take this and this one also next and just go with this install button just click on this install button and your installation will start So it is getting installed. So uh, there, uh, there you guys might be having one question in your brains that why we are downloading this PyCharm here. Okay, so this PyCharm is an IDE, Integrated Development Environment. This IDE will help you to write your Python code. Okay, it provides an editor, okay, where you will write your Python code. It also provides interpreter which will interpret your code and will convert that code to machine understandable language okay and it also helps you to execute your code okay so it basically helps us to do all these three things at the same place only okay so it is asking me for reboot i will reboot manually later on so just click on this finish button let me just close this window you can see here the PyCharm community icon on the desktop. Just double click on this icon. You can see uh, this is a, just a JetBrains privacy policy. We need to confirm this. Just read it if you want and just click on this continue. Okay. Uh, I'll just select uh, don't send because I don't want my data to be shared with anyone. Okay, so this is the window here. So what do you guys need to do? Just click on this new project. Okay. Since we do not have any project, so you need to click on new project. Here, you need to, uh, in place of this Python project, you need to give 
any folder name which you prefer like programs okay like this or maybe hello world because hello world will be our first program so this is basically a folder name and this is the location of where this folder will be uh, available okay next thing is that you need to select this new virtual environment okay make sure you select this virtual environment and the location of this virtual environment is shown in this location entry field okay and then you need to select base interpreter that which interpreter you will use to convert your code okay so i only have one interpreter so i'll be using the same 3.9.2 version okay just make sure you uh, uh, you can uh, take this one it will simply create your main dot py file by default and next just click on this create button so once you click on this create button your virtual environment will be created so what is this virtual environment and why we are creating this virtual environment so this virtual environment basically helps you to download the modules and those modules will be resided at one place in one virtual environment okay those modules will not be available for all the projects it will be available for only one particular project that is the reason we are uh, creating a virtual environment okay it simply helps you to save your storage so i'm not going to uh, show any tips because i know everything about this pie charm so i'll simply close this one so here you can see that we are getting main.py file okay so uh, these are in a comment box so i'm just going to delete all this so just select all this and uh, uh, click uh, press backspace key okay so this is our main.py file okay here you can write your code and so this is basically an editor okay here you will write your code so let's write our first python program so let's print hello world here okay so hello world like this now after writing print hello world now you can run your code how, how you can run your code in pycharm there are various ways of running your code first way is just simply right click here and you can see this run button just click on this run button and on the console here you can see the output hello world is getting printed okay so our python is working fine here pycharm is working fine here next way of running the same code is by clicking here it simply reruns the code so you again you can see the same output another way of running the same code is clicking here you can run by clicking here again we are getting the same output other way is to click on this run main it will also help you to run your code and the same way here also you can run your code with the help of this okay so there are three to four ways by which you can run your code in pycharm so this pycharm basically provides you one destination where you can type your code okay where you can interpret your code and run your code at the same time okay it saves your time so that's it from this video see you in next one thank you for watching